Good morning, and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Tuesday, January 25th, the Feast of the Conversion of St. Paul, Apostle. I'm filling in today for Patty because I accidentally deleted her video for the week, but I assure you she'll be back again next Tuesday. Our readings today are taken from the Acts of the Apostles in the Gospel of Mark, and through them we are reminded that even the most ardent disbeliever is capable of conversion to Christ. Let us begin our celebration this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today, and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, that if he should find any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go to the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard the voice, but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he either, neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord had sent to him in a vision, Ananias. He answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying. And in a vision he has seen a, a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him, that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man, what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has the authority from the chief priests to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel. And I will show him what he must have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hands on him, he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me, Jesus, who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, that he is the Son of God. All who heard him were astounded and said, Is this not the man who in Jerusalem ravaged those who call upon this name, and came here expressly to take them back in chains to the chief priests? But Saul grew all the stronger, and confounded the Jews who lived in Damascus, proving that this was the Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Today's response to the psalm is, Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness towards us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go out into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak in new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The story of Saul's conversion gives us hope that anyone is capable of changing their ways. Today, let us pray for those that we know who need this conversion and ask the Lord to come into their hearts and show them the way. Let us now bring our cares and concerns before our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer for our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we move towards an end to the pandemic, that God will guide and inspire all who work to end this virus and give our leaders the wisdom and the courage to make the right decisions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in any way burdened in these difficult times, that the sick, the unemployed, the lonely, and the frontline and essential workers may find peace and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal priests of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, as our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your love and the grace you provide us each day. Grant us the courage to walk the path that leads to salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace.